number 4.8. Hello, hello. Mm. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Hello, How teacher. are you, my dear participants? Fine, hello, teacher. teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm fine. Yes. Thank you. Good evening. It's, it's yeah. great to have you here, hello. my dears. Excellent. Okay. Um, today we are going to continue practicing um, about yesterday class. So um, I would like to ask if some mm. of you have. Uh, already participate in the platform. ¿Alguno de ustedes han revisado la plataforma? ¿Todo uh, bien? Sí, teacher. Dice que tengo problemas con la... Uh -huh. eh, el knowledge check eh, eh, 4.8 que uh -huh. hay que escuchar un audio. No puedo ni de la computadora ni del teléfono. Y usted ya ha descargado una aplicación que mencionó la vez pasada Marvin que había que descargar. Eh, bueno, de hecho en el teléfono sí descargué una, pero no me funciona con eso. Y en la eh, computadora no lo no he descargado. Ok, intente tal vez descargar la aplicación en la computadora y si no, escríbale a Marvin. Porque eh, eh, la y otra... Probó ahora, David. Eh, ahorita acabo de probar hace un momento. Nada. Y tampoco. Tengo abierta la pestaña en la computadora. Sí, no, nada. Noche... No pude, pero hoy en la, en la tarde me conecté y sí me funcionó el, el audio. Uh -huh. Yo igual hace poco intenté y me funcionó. ¿Y si, y si reinicia la compu, bueno, cuando terminemos la clase, David, si inicia la, reinicia la compu e intenta de nuevo. Ok, voy a, voy a volver a intentar. Porque una solución temporal sería de que alguien de ustedes, chicos, gentilmente le graben el audio y se lo manden por WhatsApp. Pero la calidad del audio no va a ser la misma. Y por otro lado, <coughs> no vamos a haber resuelto el problema de raíz que él no puede acceder a los audios, ¿verdad? Para los siguientes módulos. Entonces yo sí creo necesario que intentemos y si no funciona, entonces escribirle a Marvin y preguntarle puntualmente. O, o quizás enviarle una captura de pantalla del error que le da. No okay, sé si le, sí. le envía algún error cuando usted trata de, de abrirlo. Es que he intentado descargar el archivo también y, y dice que tiene como error. Que no ni puedo ni verlo ni descargarlo. Mm, sí, entonces habría que ver con Marvin qué otras opciones le puede dar. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí. Porque, porque sí, yo sabía que hay un, hay un archivo que hay que descargar para que eh, lo pueda correr el audio. Y... Pero no es en todas casi, ¿verdad? Porque los otros no, no pide acceso a ninguna aplicación. Ajá. Eh, sí, pero solo son con algunos audios, seguramente. Bueno, habría que pre preguntar entonces a Marvin si nos puede asistir con eso, si usted ya habiendo reiniciado la computadora no logra escucharlo, ¿verdad? Quizás muchas veces también es con las versiones que uno baja de las, de las actualizaciones. Habría que ver qué actualización le convendría de ese archivo que él ha pedido que se baje para poder abrir la, el audio. Eh, no, la vez pasada creo que no mandó aplicación. ¿Qué navegador está utilizando, David? Hola, el Chrome. ¿Qué navegador está utilizando? El Chrome. El Chrome. Sí. ¿Y si sí, prueba con Mozilla? Chrome, Chrome ya trae todo lo que no necesita instalar cosas adicionales, ya trae Flash, ya trae, bueno, todo. Y, y sí. en computadora. Eh, bueno, ahí, es que al, al darle clic al archivo me dice que tengo que abrirla con unas aplicaciones. Ajá, y me ese. manda como tres aplicaciones, pero... Ya probé dos de las que sí son compatibles con la compu y no, no me las abre. Dice que tiene error el... el y, y perdón, el David, ya, ya las instaló, ya instaló el archivo que termina con opción EXE. Porque, no. eh, ajá, yo creo que habría que ver si, si alguien de ellos le ayuda, de alguien de inglés corporativo, que le manden el link de la aplicación. Y que le den los pasos de cómo, de cómo descargarla, porque el punto es que tiene que tener el archivo ejecutable. Si usted no baja el archivo ejecutable, por eso no le abre. 
Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Bueno, sí, lo voy a consultar. Entonces, sí, me gustaría, resulta más tarde. ¿Cómo sa sale más bien? Ok, very good. Okay. Thank you, Gracias my dear. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for being here in class. So today we are going to continue practicing uh, what we studied uh, last night, which is um, the modifiers, uh, the participles, and also some prepositions. So I'm going to share with you today my presentation where I have some extra examples uh, for you to continue practicing. Just as a, as a reminder, uh, we learned last night that a modifier is a word or group of words which specify or modifies a noun or a pronoun. For example, the man, the one. We learned about the past participles and the present participles. We said that past participle uh, is the third column of the verb uh, in, in the verbs of, in the list uh, of verbs. We learned that the past participle of regular verbs end with ed, and that past participle of irregular verbs like sung, it's different, so we need to memorize. And we learned that the present participle ends with ing, okay? So we also uh, learned some sentences, for example, he's the man dancing in the living room. And we don't mention John, but we are talking about John. Um, she's the one wearing a dress. We don't say the name of Rosa, but we are talking about her. But we are referring to her as the one wearing a dress. So it becomes a modifier. The one wearing, the man dancing, the woman with, the one in, the person next. So those are modifiers that uh, describe a person and sometimes replace the name. So in your platform, you have this uh, grammar focused exercise that it says modifiers with participles and prepositions. So in, pa uh, in prepositions, we normally work with with, in, next to, on, and describes basically a position, okay, of the person we are talking about. And then uh, last night we also work and learn about ED participles uh, and ING participles. And we learn that ED participles is when we have the main verb in past, like was or where, and the present participles are when we uh, talk about actions normally in present using verb be. We also solve uh, an exercise. We clearly solve this exercise. But today, since you asked me to continue practicing, we are going to uh, advance with this topic before to start section five, okay? Entonces, um, vamos a continuar ahora con el tema de los modifiers y eh, vamos a hacer algunos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Vamos a, a completar este tema hoy de manera que quede súper claro, a evacuar dudas si hay acerca de otros temas de la plataforma, porque, eh, bueno, todavía nos queda, ahora es miércoles, todavía nos queda mañana, ¿verdad? Pero si no hay dudas sobre esto, pues ya mañana estaríamos iniciando lo que es la sección número 5. ¿Verdad? Porque ya la próxima semana sería nuestra última semana de este módulo. Ok, so, I have here some exercises. So, now is your turn uh, to speak, because the idea of this class is that you can speak uh, more than what I can speak. So, uh, it says, grammar discussion, ED and ING. Discuss the questions below with your partner. Okay, and we have 10 questions. What kind of programs are you interested in? When was the last time you were embarrassed? What makes you feel relaxed? Do you feel tired after class? Why or why not? Were you satisfied with the, with the test results of your, 
last grammar test. Talk about a time uh, you were terrified. Talk about a time you were worried. How can help? How can can you help someone who is depressed? When was the last time you were bored? Why were you bored? Talk about a time uh, you were surprised. Okay. So if you see in here, we are using ed. Um, ed um, um, in this case, uh, modifiers or uh, participles in sentences. Uh, for example, what kind of TP programs are you interested in? In. ¿En qué tipo de programas estás interesado? When was the last time you were embarrassed? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que estuviste avergonzado o apenado? What makes you feel relaxed? ¿Qué te hace sentir relajado? Do you feel tired after class? ¿Te sientes cansado después de clase? Why or why not? ¿Por qué o por qué no? Were you satisfied with the test results of your last grammar test? ¿Estás, ¿Estuviste satisfecho con los resultados de tu último eh, examen de gramática? Talk about a time you were terrified. Háblanos acerca de una ocasión en que estuviste aterrado. Talk about a time you were worried. Háblanos acerca de una ocasión en que hayas estado preocupado. Okay, sorry. Um, how can you help someone who is depressed? ¿Cómo puedes ayudar a alguien que está deprimido? When was the last time you were bored? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que estuviste aburrido? Why were you bored? ¿Por qué estabas aburrido? Talk about a time you, you were very surprised. Háblanos acerca de una vez cuando estabas muy sorprendido. Si ustedes se fijan, all these in bold, are participles, but in this case, we are using this participle as adjective. Interested, embarrassed, relaxed, tired, satisfied, terrified, worried, depressed, bored, and surprised. All of them are, in this case, participles acting as adjectives, okay? So, let's repeat. Okay, I want you to please unmute your mics and you uh, can repeat with me, okay? What kind of TV programs are you interested in? What, what kind, of kind of TV, TV programs, programs are you, are you interested, interested in? in? When was the last time you were embarrassed? When, when was the last, the last time, time you were, you were embarrassed? embarrassed? What makes you feel relaxed? What, what makes, makes you feel relaxed? relaxed? Do you feel tired after class? Do you, Do you feel, feel tired, tired after, after class? class? Why or why not? Why, 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 why or why, why not? not? Were you satisfied with the test result of your last grammar test? Were you satisfied with the last grammar test? Talk about a time you were terrified. Talk, Talk about, about the time you were, you were terrified. Talk about a time you were worried. Talk about, about the time, time you were worried. How can you help someone who is depressed? How can you help someone who is depressed? depressed? When was the last time you were bored? When was the last time you were bored? Why you were bored? Why, Why were you, you bored? bored? Talk about a time you were surprised. Talk, Talk about, about time, time you were, were very surprised. Very surprised. Okay, very good. Thank you. So I have 10 questions. So I would like that please uh, choose one question and you choose a partner and then you ask the question. Then your partner will choose another question and will ask to you. So please. Um, we will give you 30 seconds to think about your partner and to think about the question you are going to ask. Play. <laughs> 
Okay, when you're ready, you let me know. Cuando estén listos, me avisan. Me teacher. Okay, Julie, go ahead. Eh, yo le pregunto a alguien, ¿verdad? <coughs> yes. No. Please. Eh, Katia. Hi, Julie. Hi, Katia. Um, how can you help someone who is depressed? Um, maybe listen the person who is depressed. Or maybe with a help. Do you say cita con un experto, un psicólogo? An appointment with an expert, as like maybe a psychologist. As appointment. An appointment. An appointment with a psychologist. Yes, with a psychologist. Okay, very good. Maybe uh, just a um, a little correction to listen to the person. Listen to. Yes. Remember okay. that this verb, this verb always has a to at the beginning and a two at the end, to listen to the to listen. affected person, to listen to the patient, to listen to the depressed uh, person and so on. Okay, okay. very good. Thank you. Uh, a wise uh, advice, my dear Katia. Very good, Julie. So Katia, uh, now you can ask a question to Julie. Julie. Yes. Mm. Talk about a time you were very surprised. Mm. When my family and friends mm -hmm. celebrate my birthday. Oh, very good. <laughs> nice surprise. <laughs> Happy birthday, Julie. I uh, thank you. Yay! Happy Me. birthday! Today is Julie's birthday. No, no. twenty-three. No. Uh huh. It was. It was. <laughs> Sorry, Julie. We forgot. But it's time to sing. Okay. So let's listen. Happy mm. birthday to you, to to Julie. Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Julie. Happy birthday to you. 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 <laughs> a, a warm uh, greeting from all your classmates and teachers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> en el grupo le vamos a poner unas florcitas y un pedazo de pastel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Nice. So my chain is complete. La cadena se me completó. So now I need another volunteer to ask a question to a partner. Felicidades, Julie. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, who wants to continue with the questions? Me, teacher. Okay, very good. Go ahead, Noe. Um, I'm going... Um, uh, Arnold. Okay, Arnold. Hola, buenas noches. Me voy conectando. No sé qué, qué hacen ahorita. Quisiera ah. ver una. Por ok, favor. ok. Don't worry. Uh, maybe you can choose another partner, my dear. Maybe Nicolás yes, no or David or Fernando, um, Larisa. Um, Isabel. Isabelita. Is 
Isabel, are Isabelita. you there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Isabelita is there. Okay. Uh, hi, Isabel. Hi, uh, good evening. Good evening. And can you tell me what kind of TV programs are you interested in? Uh, do, do you ask me the first Yes, question? the first question. Yes. He's asking okay. me the first question. And my program favorite was mm -hmm. um, The Walking Dead. Walking okay. Dead. Oh, okay. Um, the Sub Opera. Sub <laughs> <Top> Opera. <laughs> yeah. And the. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, doramas and Dorama. anime. Yes, animes. Okay, yes. very good. Anime. Ah, anime. Me too. Really? Okay. Yes. It's okay. nice. Okay, yeah. Isabel. It's nice. Okay, very good, Isabelita. So, Isabelita, is your chance to ask a question to? To Noe? Okay. To Noe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um, do you feel tired after class? Tired. Why? Tired. <clears throat> uh, yes, because sometimes I have to work after the class. Oh, wow. Yes, but sometimes. Not always. Not always. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Noe. Okay. We hope that you can rest today. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you don't I have hope to so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So, my dear, uh, let's see. We have David, we have Guillermo, Fernando, and... Let's see who, who else is missing. Uh, Larissa and Arnold now. Okay, who would like to continue asking a question to your partners using ED or participle as adjectives, like in the questions that appear on the screen? Um, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, my dear. Choose um, a partner. Ernesto or Agu Golfo. Uh, Nicolas. I don't remember. Nicolas. Nicolas. Uh, Nicolas. Nicolas. <laughs> Hello, okay, Nicolas. David. Hello, Nicolas. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's okay. What, what is the number of the question? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> uh, the number question is six. Okay, but tell, tell the question, okay? Tell her how uh, can you were terrified? Talk, talk about a time. Talk, talk about, talk yes. about a time you were okay. terrified. Okay, good. Terrified. Yes, like scared, asustado. Yes. Very scared. I Uh, was a day. I was a day. Uh, you can say uh, there was a day or there was a time I was terrified because this and this and that. The day of <clears throat> the day, the day terrified is with my son uh, because. Uh, my son uh, Perdón, excuse me. Caerse. Uh, fall down. My son uh, fall down. My son fall down fall down of uh the hisador. Ah, from, uh, uh, from, 
from a wing or from a, a slide? Uh, or from, from a mechanic game? I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Yeah, the, 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 the day of terrified is, is with my son. Okay. Who is sold down. Fall down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, now is your time, uh, Nicolas, to ask a question to, um, let's see, who was asking? To David. Okay, because Nicolas said that the day he was uh, terrified was when his son fell down uh, from a mechanic game, oh, wow. something like a slide. Okay. Uh, okay, a mechanic game. Yeah, Very mechanic good. game. Okay, great. Okay, good. Dave, uh, so, uh, Nicolas, it's your time to ask uh, yes. David. Do you have a question for David? You are mute. Okay. No Do you have a question for David? No sé si nos escucha. Eh, ¿Tiene usted una pregunta okay. para David? David? Okay. Yes. Tell me. The, the number nine. Okay. Okay, no. The number three. Okay. What? What makes you feel relaxed? Relaxed. Relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I, makes you feel relaxed? I I make <clears throat> I make the uh, you can make, say what makes me feel relaxed is. is and you mentioned yes. is the but repeat repeat david what makes me feel relaxed uh, what makes me what makes feel relaxed mm -hmm. i go to the park is when uh, i go to the park when is i go to the park i play soccer soccer uh, soccer um play guitar Okay, very good, thank you, nice. When you do something that is different from the routine, right? Okay. Very good. So let's see, uh, Larissa. Hello, Larissa. Are Larissa. Hello. Hello. Hello, my dear, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Fine, thank you. I would like to ask you if you would like to ask a question, maybe to Fernando or to Guillermo, or maybe Arnold. I don't know what happened with Arnold. I see him connected, but now he's not here. Okay, but we have here Fernando and we have here uh, Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Guillermo. Hi, Larissa. Mm, you feel tired after class? Why or why not? Mm, yes, because I have class um, every Saturday. Um, it's, it's very tired. <laughs> okay, so okay. are you studying at the university yet? Yes. Okay, very good. Congratulations. A good, a good effort that will be valuable, okay? Okay. <laughs> Great. So <laughs> now, uh, just to encourage you, now is your time to ask Larissa, so you can ask a question. Okay. Um, Larissa, number six, tell about a time you were terrified. Okay. Talk about a time. Okay. Um, I was... Um, terrified? I, I was terrified um, when um, when 
¿Cómo le digo? Hace dos semanas. Two, 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 two weeks ago. Weeks, two weeks ago when, uh, when it, it was raining mm -hmm. and a piece of... Ah, the floor. The floor was... Eh, no, no, no. Este, un, una pieza del techo. Oh, a piece uh -huh. of your, of your uh, floor. Uh -huh. I mean, okay. of, of your sailing. Yeah. Ok. Este, se desprendió por la lluvia y cayó. ¿Cómo oh. lo puedo decir? <laughs> it fell down because of the rain. Ok. Uh -huh. It fell down because of the rain. Because of the rain mm -hmm. and uh, it was midnight. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Larissa. I know it's very difficult. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because you are sleeping and then surprisingly, some, suddenly something fell down from your sailing, from your roof. And mm -hmm. it's very, very, yeah, I know, disturbing. Okay, thank yes. you for sharing. I hope you, you you can be safe and that you can repair it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, so let's see. Noé, I would like that you can please help me asking a question to Fernando. ¿Qué es eso? Okay. Fernando. <coughs> uh, hi. Can hi. you tell me when was the last time you were bored? And why you were, why were you bored? Um, I was born in, um, when I see uh, my, my team, uh, Real Madrid and, <laughs> and, and they don't don't uh, meter goal. Ah, uh, without or, without uh, having a goal. Okay, without having a goal. Okay, I <laughs> know you are like boring and suffering at the same time, waiting and, for. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, I know soccer is a real passion. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, very good. So now um I would like uh, Fernando that you can ask a question to Noé. Okay. Using this sketch of the uh participles as adjectives. Okay. Um number number four. Okay. Do you feel tired after class? Why or why not? Um, yes, sometimes I feel tired after class because um, sometimes I have to work, but not always. Okay, very good, my dear. Thank you very much. You did a great job. All of you have the chance to ask and answer a question using the um, participles in this case being used as adjectives, ok? Si se fijan en español, solo para reafirmarlo, aquí hemos utilizado participios, pero que en este momento tienen la función de adjetivo, ok? Inter, um, interesado, apenado, relajado, cansado, satisfecho. Eh, Es como aterrado, preocupado, deprimido, aburrido, sorprendido. Todos esos son, en este caso, adjetivos, ¿verdad? So, let's see the other part. Now we are going to discuss questions, eh, but using um, the present participle, okay? Or the ing. If you see, the questions are very similar. What kind of program do you think are boring? En, de, en este caso es qué tipo de, pro, en el otro era, eh, qué tipo de programas usted estaba interesado. Pero aquí la pregunta es, what kinds of TV programs do you think are boring? ¿Qué tipo de programas de televisión usted piensa que son aburridos? Talk about something you think is fascinating. 
hable acerca de algo que usted crea que es fascinante. Talk about some surprising news you heard or read about. Hable acerca de noticias sorprendentes que usted escuchó o leyó. Did you ever see something that was terrifying? ¿Alguna vez viste algo eh, que era terrifico, verdad, aterrador? What? ¿Qué? What kind of activities do you think are exciting? ¿Qué tipo de actividades usted piensa que son excitantes o, o emocionantes? Talk about a time you did something that was embarrassing. Eh, cuéntenos en un, eh, de algo que usted, de alguna ocasión en que usted hizo algo que fue penoso. Do you ever do physical activities that are very tiring? ¿Alguna vez hace actividades físicas que son muy cansadas? Eh, what school subjects do you think are interesting? ¿Qué asignaturas escolares o, dentro, o en la escuela piensa que son interesantes? Do you agree that news on TV nowadays is too depressing? ¿Usted está de acuerdo en que las noticias de la televisión nowadays es hoy en día, verdad? O en nuestros días. ¿Son muy eh, depresivas o deprimentes? What kind of activities do you do that are relaxing? ¿Qué tipo de actividades usted hace que son relajantes? Okay, so let's repeat. What kinds of TV programs do you think are boring? What kind of TV programs do you think are boring? Talk, talk about something you think is fascinating. Talk about something you think is fascinating. Okay, talk about some surprising news you heard or read about. Talk about some Did you ever see something that was terrifying? Did you ever see something that was terrifying? What kind of activities do you think are exciting? What kind of activities do you think are exciting? Talk about a time you did something that was embarrassing. Talk about a time you did something that was embarrassing. Do you ever do physical activities that are very tiring? Do you, do you ever, ever do physical activities that are very tiring? What school subjects do you think are interesting? What school subjects do you think are interesting? Do you agree that the news on TV nowadays is too depressing? Do you agree What kinds of activities do you do that are relaxing? What kind of activities do you do that are relaxing? Okay, very good. Now is the same dynamic. I would like that some, uh, some, some of you or uh, voluntarily one by one can ask a question and also can provide a response. Okay. For example, for example, if, I, if someone asks me, what kind of TV programs do you think are boring? I will say, I think that the, the TV programs that are boring are news, for example, if I can say something. But I, I need that the person that answer provide the same, uh, this, provide the answer using the participle, okay? Eh, quiero que usen las palabras clave, ¿verdad? Los participios presentes en este caso que están marcados en negrito para dar su respuesta también. Ok. When you're ready, you let me know. Comienza, <laughs> teacher. Okay, Larissa, go ahead. Uh, Who are you going to ask? Uh, Nicolás. Okay, Nicolás, you are the one, the one chosen by Larissa. 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 Hi, Nicolás. How are you? Larissa. <laughs> okay, Larissa. Uh, Nicolas, what kinds of activities do you think are exciting? Are uh, exciting? Yes. Oh, um, okay. I I think I 
I think uh, I think of activities exciting our um, uh, running running uh, every day mm -hmm. running running mm -hmm. every day okay okay very good thank you so okay, Nicola, Larissa. it's your chance to ask Larissa a question okay Larissa what the number eight what school subjects do you think are in, in thirst? <laughs> interesting. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I think uh, I think the um, the subject that uh, that um, are interesting. Um, que se refieren a tecnología. Oh, are the ones uh, related to technology? Related, okay. I think the subject that related to technology technology are interesting. Okay, very good, Larissa. Thank you. Good answer. Okay, uh, next volunteer. Okay. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, uh, Nicola. You're welcome, Katia. teacher. Okay, Katia. Ya se van a dormir. Are you there, pajarito que canta? Es la música de mi hija. My little birds are sleeping. Where are my little birds? My little birds. <laughs> Se me fueron los pajaritos. <laughs> okay. No, we are here. Okay, no, eh. Would you like to ask a question? Okay. Um, hey, I, may I choose one? Yes. Please. Okay. Um, Isabel. Isabelita. <laughs> yes. uh, <laughs> Tell me. Uh, okay, Isabel. Um, um, talk about some surprising news you hear or read about. The number three. Isabelita? Um, I think uh, the surprising that a surprising new news, or I think that some surprising news are surprising new are uh, the or. Our president, yes, or president. Um, he go to the. Um, he went to the United he Nations. Went, yes, uh, yeah, Naciones Unidas. He went to the United, United Nations, Nations summit. Nations. Summit, yes. a la cumbre. Summit. Yes, yes. Okay. It's for me fast, fast, uh, surprising. It was surprising. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. And thumbs in the, let's see, and um, Trump's interview today, right? Yes. Okay, and the interview with uh, President Trump today. Very good, good answer. So, Isabelita, is your chance to ask uh, Noé? Noé, okay. Okay, Noé, um, let's see. Uh, Talk about talk a, about talk about a time you did something that was embarrassing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, okay. a, a very heavy question. <laughs> yes. Um, but you can do it. 
Um, let me think. Um, Sometimes I did a job to a person in my job, but I missed the person. I mean, uh, I thought uh, she was another person <gasps> and did her a job and okay. she turned turn around and I saw, oops, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 told a joke to the wrong person. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's that happens sometimes. Yes, she was oh. looking looking at me very serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you say oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh oops, <laughs> oops! <laughs> I want to hide myself. <laughs> okay, yes. very good. Thank you. Uh, any other volunteer? Julie, David, me. Uh, who said me? Katia. Katia. Okay, go ahead, Katia. Mm, David. Okay, David. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, do you agree that the news on TV nowadays is too depressing? <laughs> number nine. Uh, number nine. Uh, yes, I do, but I, I the 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 TV news um, are depressing. Uh, How do you say noticias, teacher? Uh, news? News. News. Mm -hmm. news. Mm -hmm. You can say maybe uh -huh. they are bad news, only bad news. Bad news. Uh, or every, everyday news. Mm -hmm. It's depressing. Okay. Just, just watching bad news every day is depressing. It's depressing. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, now, David, uh, can you ask a question to Katia, please? Could you please? Okay. Uh, what kind of activities do you think are exciting? Mm. For me, what kinds of activities are exciting? Go to the concert with my friends mm -hmm. and go to the beach with my family. Listen to music for relax. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katia and David. So, Fernando. Okay. I would like that you can ask a question to Guillermo because I think that only you two are meeting. From participation, so please, would you like to okay. interchange questions? Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Okay, the questions are there. Number seven. Okay. Do you ever do physical activities that are very tiring? Very what? Tiring, cansadas. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. It's very tiring. <laughs> okay, and how, how frequent do you do you do taekwondo? Um, in this day, leave leave the the what, what do you say? Entrenamientos. The trainings. Ah, uh, yes. Is they I leave the trainings, but um, some two some weeks ago, mm -hmm. maybe two weeks. Yes. Okay. Um, because I have very work. <laughs> oh wow! Much more. <laughs> yeah, I know. I imagine. Okay, so you you have like uh, two trainings per week, one training per week, or 
many, many trainings. Okay, thank you. Uh, would you like to ask a question uh, to Fernand? Okay. Uh, we lose you. Eh, lo perdimos un ratito, Guillermo. We lose you for a while. <coughs> Hello. Hello, Guillermo. Dice que se salió, se salió del... del de, de sí, parece que se salió. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, can I, what can I ask? Okay, uh, Fernando, what kind of activities do you do that are relaxing? Uh, I think that I relax in uh, with I go to the beach. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You can say one relax, relaxing activity I do is go to the beach. Okay. Great, very good, nice. Okay, my dear, thank you for your participation. You have been talking and using um, these uh, participles, but being used as adjectives, okay? I think that nobody else is missing. Creo que nadie se me quedó de participar. Okay, let's see. Uh, here, I have, here I have the last exercises to solve. For example, number one, my neighbors are very because they make too much noise. Annoyed mm -hmm. or annoying? Annoying. Annoying. Sorry, okay, don't worry, my dear Guillermo. I, I just asked the question to Fernando, okay? Just to advance. Don't worry. Now we are going to solve the, the exercises we have there on the screen. So uh, you say that for number one, the right answer is annoying, right? Okay, number two, John was when she amazed. saw the dinosaur's bones at the museum. Amazed? Amazed. Amazing. Amazing. Amazed. Oh. ¿verdad? Amazed. Amazed. Estaba, uh -huh. estaba admirado. ¿verdad? Sorprendido. Sorprendido. Y estamos usando un was. Entonces es Impulsado. amazed. Yes. Number three, Mr. Smith really didn't like that movie. He thought it was bored. Bored. Boring. Bored. En este caso boring. sería boring, porque estamos hablando oh. de la película aburrida, ¿verdad? <laughs> it was boring. Porque si decimos bored es él, ¿verdad? Que, que, él es, que él está aburrido, pero aquí estamos hablando de it, de la película. Entonces es boring. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay. De la película Very. It. Yes, yes. Number four. I'm space. Does does our train leave at 6:30 or 7:30? Confused or confusing? Confusing. confusing. Fíjense que en ese caso, como estoy hablando de mí y de cómo yo estoy, es confused. Estoy confundida. Teacher, pero ahí eh, me me pierdo un poquito porque. Es que no entiendo cuando, por ejemplo, cuando en la número dos se dice John was, este, yo entiendo de que el ver, pero es que se, igual no sería verbo. Ajá, lo que pasa es que, vaya, tengamos algo en mente, cuando estamos hablando de una persona, casi siempre se usa con el ED, porque John estaba sorprendido, amazed, ¿sí? Perdón. Ese, y ese es pasado participio. Es un pasado participio. Y el ah, amazing okay. es un presente participio. participio. Uh -huh. Sí. En el otro, como estamos hablando de it, estamos hablando de la película, entonces decimos boring. ¿Verdad? En el cuarto, number four, como decimos, I'm eh, es confused. Estoy confundida. Normalmente cuando estoy hablando de mí, o de alguien, eh, siempre, casi siempre se usa el, el ET, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora, eh, en el caso del number one, my neighbors are very annoying. Ahí utilizamos el annoying porque estamos hablando de are. Son muy, no puedo decir mis vecinos son muy eh, molestados, ¿verdad? O, o Sí, 
molestado, sino que son muy molestos. Annoying, ¿verdad? Muy molestos. Ok, number, number 10. I was very by the good news. We have a holiday next Monday. Very pleased. 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 Yo estaba muy complacido o muy agradado por la buena noticia. Tendremos un, eh, un feriado el próximo lunes. And spent a very relaxed or relaxing day at home. Relaxed. Relaxed. Eh, es relaxing. Porque si fuera mm. que Anne está relajada, pero dice que, que pasó un día. Un día, relaja, un día relajante. Relajante, exactamente, en mm. casa. Ok, at, at home yesterday. Customers are very important to, uh, let's see, sorry. Déjenme ver. Uh, customers are very important to any successful business. Satisfy or satisfying? Satisfying. Satisfying. Eh, satisfying. Satisfied. Satisfied, ¿verdad? Clientes satisfechos. ¿Sí? Porque mm. estoy hablando de los clientes, entonces, ¿cómo, son, cómo están los clientes satisfechos? Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Sí. Clientes satisfechos son muy importantes para el éxito de un negocio. Number 13. Did you hear about Space News? There was a shocking. terrible accident. accident. Shocking. 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 Shocking news. Yes. Shocking news. Entonces, estos son un poquito tricky. Realmente tienen que verlos yes. en contexto para que los puedan eh, identificar de mejor manera. Pero normalmente cuando estamos hablando de personas, eh, usamos el participio pasado. Y cuando estamos hablando de cosas, como el caso de las noticias, eh, del día eh, que es relaxing, ¿verdad? Decimos shocking, relaxing. Eh, ¿Cuál fue el otro? Eh, my neighbors. Eh, satisfied. Annoying. Eh, satisfied son clientes. Ahí se sí utilizamos el, el ID, eh, el pasado, ¿verdad? Pasado participio. Clientes no. satisfechos son muy importantes para el éxito de un negocio. Okay, my dears, I think that we are going to stop the class here, but we can continue practicing if you want tomorrow, okay? Uh, in order that this can be clear, tomorrow we are going to practice about the one and other uh, expressions uh, to work about modifiers in context. Okay, by now I just will leave you uh, with this uh, screen. And by tomorrow, we can continue practicing with more exercises I have for you. Okay? Uh, okay. Questions? No? No questions? Oh, okay. No question. Very no. good. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.